Welcome viewers to Softidemy, a project control and engineering software academy. Today I am going to discuss with you about undo function in Primavera P6. So here we go, we will open a project. So we will see which function at where place we can do a redo or undo in Primavera P6. So what is the shortcut key for undo? So, so the shortcut key for the undo is control Z as we use in many applications, control plus Z. So that will be used same in Primavera P6. So Primavera P6 is a database software. We do not need to be save at different, different points. It have a complete setup automatically save its all data. So what are the history of the undo, how much time it can delay or how much time it can hold your data to be undo. So there is no redo function in it. And I will tell you at where, where uh, tabs, at where, where areas are, where, at where, where functionalities you can undo in Primavera P6. So here I have created a sheet. In this sheet, you will know where you can apply your undo function and where you can't apply your undo function. Also, you need to know that how much time your undo history will be cleared. So it's not like that one in, in like a Microsoft Word. In other programs, it the history saves a long time, but in Primavera P6, there are some conditions at where undo history will be cleared. So first of all, I will go here in Primavera P6. I will show you a project tabs in this project tab. If you change or delete a project, if you change any data here or edit a project, it cannot be undo or redo. Okay. So I will show you an example. If you don't uh, think so, if you delete this one, it cannot be undo. It cannot be this action cannot be undone. It's written clearly. So if you want to see the functionality here, there is undo. If you delete this one, undo will be not appear here. So also if you edit or remove this expansion, also, there will be no undo for that one. Okay. So if editing, deleting or anything, there will be, there will be no undo. Okay. That's, that's the confirmed. Also, if there are privileges tools, like if your admin, if you are using a cloud based server, if you are using a cloud based SQL. So in, in that case, also there are some privileges where you cannot even delete the project. So there are some restriction from the admin. Also at that place, you cannot even delete the project. So at the third place, if you go here in project code codes, here you see project codes, resource codes, activity codes. Okay. So here you see project code. If you enter here a project code, you cannot undo or redo. If you add here or delete here, the editing will be not working here. So I will not show you something. Can you see this one? And I write this one. And if I close this one, you cannot undo this one. Okay. Undo function will be not working here. Also, you can see in resource undo will work. Can you see here? Undo will work on resource. I will open here a resource. I will add here a resource. And here we go. I will insert press insert option here you can see insert when we go in the edit you can see undo add resource so when we undo that resource will be deleted also it can be edit it can be deleted resource at the resources place this function will work also at resource assignment it will be also working here also if you add a resource assignment also it can be delete also it can be edited also user defined field it there will be no functionality for the undo function here the user defined field you cannot apply your undo function if you add or delete or any option for example i do something here uh, i add a, a new user defined field here you will go in the edit because it's a new window no undo function will be work here in the edit option also reports when so here we will go for the reports here you will not find any undo function in reports if you add here a new report for example, you add here a new report. You cannot even undo this function also. 
it will be same like for example activities i will just save report if you save this report as activities here did you see here activities you cannot undo this function also in the reports same as it is at tracking you can undo tracking it's different for example anything you done at tracking it will be undo i will not show you practically in wps and uh, docs files no no undo in expenses no undo in risk no undo in wps no undo okay be remember that one if you created any file or any uh, for example you have created or added any wps here you cannot be did you see here no undo function here you not just go here and delete here that's the only option if you work here and edit here the file you cannot undo at the wps place now come up with activities activities are the only area where you can edit where you can redo edit where you can delete a redo any activity file so in the activity area i will add an activity here when i will add here an activity you will see we can undo for the editing also first of all no you can see undo modify you see undo modify it means editing also have done also for deleting or adding activity there is also undo when i will press undo add activity the activity will be removed did you see on editing and also on adding or deleting an activity there is undo available so at what level you can add at what what level you can delete so you can add any activity and you can delete any activity here what about the details section here below the details section can only work up to general status resources predecessor and successor only these tabs can be working for example here i will add here general status resources predecessor and successor all the other tabs all the other tab will not work here for example what i do at the project completion i will just go here and expand all i will just update this activity status for example i will go here mobilization of site team status start this one i will start this one i will put 10 percent you can undo this one when you press undo you can see here the percentage has been removed when you undo again you will see the start option will be also undo so general status resources predecessor successor relationships are undo able and their editing and their removal are editable the remaining discussion codes expenses feedback notebook risk steps summary user defined field and wps and docs file cannot be undoable or editing and their deleting cannot be undoable so undoable means at editing their undo function will be not working so, so we have done the explanation of this section i have given the link of this file in below description you can get this file for your help also so what so we will come up the next one what does undo history clear mean so undo history clear means whenever you open a new dialog so your your history will be cleared so your history saved in your sql will be cleared when you open a new new window that will affect your history for example here you see here a history has been saved for undo or modify activity control plus z you can also use that shortcut key i will show you an example when you enter in the project portfolios in enterprise tab here i will go here when i will go here in project portfolios when i have opened the window you will see your whole editing history have been cleared when i close this one i have just opened did you see the undo history have been cleared so the same for the same for project portfolios obs resource code project codes activity codes user defined whenever you open that dialogs these enterprise history will be cleared no this undo history will be cleared whenever you open project portfolios obs resource codes project codes activity codes user defined fields so your history of undo will be cleared also for tools tab also when you open admin preferences i will show you for admin preferences 
for example i have edited for team i have deleted this one you will see here in the modify there the history of undo have been available when you open admin preferences here and when you go back here the undo history have been cleared so this one function have been done these three sections admin tools tab and enterprise all these function will be effective to work to clear the history of undo whenever you open their dialogs for the project and view tab there is no issue for these two tabs there are no issue project and view tab you open any any window project spotlight filter columns so undo history will be not clear so unless you open the given these windows your history will be not cleared and where you can undo i have explained in the above section section 1 and that is section 2 the the file link has been given in the description of this video below you will find this one so this, so this is our today's video based on undo function work in primavera p6 how can you undo in primavera p6 what is its shortcut key is it redo available in primavera p6 at what areas you can do or undo redo or undo in primavera p6 and how much time a primavera p6 undo history can be saved and which window you will open and your undo history will be cleared all this details have been given in this video thanks for watching softy demi my contact number and website www.softydemi.com is available for your assistant don't forget to get all the details from the site and from my whatsapp number that have been given at the last of this video thanks for watching softy demi we will meet in a next good video